Hey there Dream Weaver students and welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net So in today's tutorial we're going to be creating a contact form Contact form is a must for your website because it allows visitors to ask you questions, give you feedback and really gives you a bit of interaction with those visiting your website So there's a number of different things we can do to our contact page so First I'm going to come over here to the Dreamweaver tutorials just to cover a couple of uh, things. Now, as you can see, this one here we're on is the creating a contact forum. That's this tutorial where we actually create the forum itself. However, the forum only gathers information. You need to remember that. The forum does nothing but gather information. It's the PHP script that then forwards that information to your own personal email address, your MySQL database if you're gathering information or uh, something else. Basically we're going to be going down the route of sending it to our own personal email address. So I've created different tutorials here. Creating a PHP script, hand coding, uh, and there's four different parts. Then I have created a contact forum PHP script quick method and that's just cutting and pasting a forum that I've already created myself and you guys can just make a few alterations and we'll cover that just in a second. Then the last tutorial is validating the forum and we'll see that in action in a couple of seconds also. So the PHP script that I've already created can be found at the home page under useful script and code and here it is here. So all you guys would need to do is obviously it tells you the red is notes and the blue is to what you need to change basically. So you would need to change this blue text here and put in your own email address. You would need to change this blue text here with the return address once the message appears telling the sender that the message has been sent. And you can edit the CSS to match your website, colour, font, stuff like that. And you put in the message has been sent, whatever kind of message you want to put in there. So come over to the contact page and we'll see it in action. So I'll just put in something quick here and where did you find us? A friend, subject, help. Right so I'll leave this one blank, comments and see what happens. As you can see this has popped up telling us that we have an error we've not filled out comments. So if you forget to fill out any one of these fields the forum won't send, that message will pop up. The same goes for the email address so that somebody needs to put in an email address for the forum to send. So I'll just type in help again and now before I send this what you're going to see when we hit the send button is a message telling the sender that the message has been sent. That's very important so the sender knows that the message has indeed been sent successfully. Also, when we return back to the website after that message, I don't like returning people back to a contact page because they're finished here, they've sent their message and that's then finished. So I like sending them back to a different page within the website, eh, probably the home page. So send email. There's the message telling them it's been successfully sent, the little loading bar there, and then returning back to the home page. So, let's get cracking and create the forum. So, I've come over to Dreamweaver and I've just specified a place where I want to put my actual contact page. I've created this file and I've called it sample.html. Obviously, you would call yours contact.html. So, I'm going to come into insert forum and text field. So I'm going to give this the ID of name. ID is very important because that is what the PHP script latches onto for that particular field. So this needs to match the PHP script. Label, that's what will appear on screen. So I'm going to put in name and colon. OK. OK. So as you can see, I come down to design view here, there's a little field there, popped in name. Okay, so we're going to cheat here. I'm going to come to split view. Instead of coming to insert forum text field, I'm just going to uh, come to label. After label, I'm going to open angle bracket BR, close angle bracket, open angle bracket BR, close angle bracket. 
and I'm going to zoom in show you guys what I'm going to copy I'm going to copy from opening label closing label and those two page breaks that we just put in there so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come to the end of BR hit return twice paste and return twice paste again so as you can see you know with three fields so we need to come up to this one here and we need to ask for email again needs to be small caps very important because this is what your PHP script is going to be looking at the forum ID and so it knows this is the name this is the email and this will be subject so then we'll put in the actual uh, we'll change the label that's what will appear in the forum email We can go a little bit more advanced, as you've seen my forum has a little drop down box and stuff in it, but we'll do that in later tutorials here, very easy to do, so we'll cover that in a later tutorial. So just hit return there, and as you can see your fields there have popped in, so I'm just going to come to code view. Just looking for a spacer in here. I don't seem to have one, so I'm going to open up another file. Where is a spacer when you want one? So just create one. I'll come in here. I'll steal this little spacer. back over here to our actual page so I'm going to come to email and just to tidy things up put in a couple of spacers and as you can see it's evened things up just take it away I can actually just put in a BR after the name as well a page break and have the field appear on the top, have the name appear on the top that way it cuts out the chance of overlapping just one here <clears throat> so we have the name on the top rather than at the side right so then we have our three fields so the next thing we want to put in is a text area where someone can fill in form uh, put in a query so I'm going to type a, I'm just going to come here, go and insert, insert forum. This time I'm going to put in a text area name, comments. I'll just cancel that just now. Right, that's me. Insert forum text area comments comments okay so again we're going to come to comments and we're going to put in a page break over here So that's us, that's our little forum coming together. We've still got to put the buttons in, but we'll leave that for the next tutorial. We'll come there just in a second. Uh, the last, first thing I want to cover before we forget is this here is very important, the forum action. Now, whatever your PHP script is called, you see mine's is called contactforumprocess.php. So I'm just going to take the name of my actual contact forum, the PHP script name needs to go in there php whatever you've called yours this is telling the forum hey 
the action is contact this forum here, this PHP script, um, post to here. That's the action. That's very important that those two are tied up together. So save just now, save all, and we'll continue this just in a second.